Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up. I am author Joe Vallon. I write metaphysical fiction novels. I'm going to be 43 in June. I've seen a lot of movies. Today, we're going to talk about a movie that came out in 1998, Great Expectations, based on the famous Charles Dickens classic story. But first, let's run an ad for my books. Okay, hopefully you guys bought all my books, and now let's talk Great Expectations. This is going to be a super wham-bammer. I don't want to get into the minutia of the story and this, it's a very famous story. The modernization of Charles Dickens' classic story finds the hapless Finn as a painter in New York City pursuing his unrequited and haughty childhood love. So there you go, directed by Alfonso Curiurian, and uh, the screenplay was adapted by Mitch Glazer. Stars Ethan Hawke and Gwyneth Paltrow. It's two main people. De Niro's in it for a spell. Hank Azaria's in it for a spell. And this is a pretty interesting film. I don't know. I have this thing with music, right? Where I say, a good melody sounds good in almost any genre. And I think it's similar for a good story. This is a great, great story. I love this story. Phenomenal. That being said, how's the movie? Well, okay. Let's get into it. I started watching it with the intention of picking on Gwyneth Paltrow in the review, as is tradition. But, you know, like 10 minutes in, I started getting really sucked into it. And I think I figured out why. One of the reasons why is because I'm a kind of fledgling writer. I'm a sophomore writer. I have two books out. My third's coming out. I haven't really blown up yet. This channel's sort of helping me sell more. But I believe my third book may be the one that really skyrockets my career. And... I'm kind of fascinated with how people handle a lot of attention because I'm, I'm really kind of worried about it. Not that it's, you know, definitely going to happen. It's a hope of mine, don't get me wrong. But I'm also like, well, be careful what you wish for, too. And I've, you know, researched things like lottery winners. It's, it's such a curse to them, you know? And it could be the kind of the same thing, getting fame or, or recognition in the arts. So I sort of... I don't know, I sort of fear it and want it. It's like one of those things. I like the way that I'm growing at a, like, a steady pace, my readership, but this movie really sucked me in based on that. It's considered a drama romance, and it certainly is. But I don't know, I, I really liked Ethan Hawke's character in it. He plays this very well. And although I constantly reference early 90s Gwyneth Paltrow face to my friends, like they'll say something, Joe, do you feel like doing this? And I'll say, Mid-90s Gwyneth Paltrow face, and I'll make the face and they'll laugh. Like, we know what I mean. But I completely forgot, until I rewatched this movie, that she was an exotic beauty too. Like, I, I was sucked in by her looks as well. I was like, wow, she's really, really pretty. I forgot. You know, just in this movie. It's the only movie I really found her striking in, really. And uh, this was like the first time I saw her, and I remember being very confused by her just look overall. Like, is this... You know, like, what am I looking at? When I was a kid, I couldn't tell. She's very unconventional in that sense. But, you know, it turns out Gwyneth Paltrow turned out to be, uh, you know, super weirdo later in life. Which you have to take into account. I mean, if she was super cool now, then yes, I would say she was really hot and great expectations. But because she's so weird now, I was just very confused on the rewatch. <laughs> I'll tell you this, though. She was selling some of those candles back then. They might have moved a little more. Anyway, but Ethan Hawke's very good in it. I really think it's a very interesting story up into a point. I mean, we get into the third act and it gets very interesting with Finn becoming famous and those around him not knowing how to handle it. And I don't know. I don't know. But when we get to the end of this film, and I will just kind of sort of put a pin in it pretty soon here. When we get to the end of this film, it just turns into this like weird thing. Like she bounces for a bunch of years, has a kid with somebody else. He sees the little girl running around the ruins of the eccentric lady's house. By the way, the eccentric lady is the best part of the film. She's amazing. I would totally hang out with her. And I don't care if that place smelled like cat piss. She's awesome. Um, you know, and then when she had... The old lady admits to him, you know, finally when uh, Gwyneth's character bounces when they're grown up. And Ethan Hawke, you know, is Finn's heart is truly broken. The old lady tells him, me too. And now we're all together. 
you know? Like, and he realizes she sort of set him up, and it's, like, really gross and weird. This All this betrayal. He goes on to fame and riches. He helps a convict in, in the form of Robert De Niro, who's escaping. He brings him some food and stuff when he was younger. So later in life, apparently De Niro's ultra wealthy and buys all his paintings for millions of dollars, and Finn is loaded and a total success because of the one good deed he did when he was a kid, basically being rewarded for being a character of pure heart, which I think is the crux of the story. It makes me want to read the Dickens novel again, uh, for real. But the film is not bad. I, I don't know. It's not bad until you get to the end, basically. So she bounces for a bunch of years. She gets with another guy, has another kid. The kid's running around the ruins. He just goes to visit on a, on a lark. And he sees this little girl that reminds him of the young Gwyneth. And he follows her out into the water. And it turns out Gwyneth is there. And she asks if he can ever forgive her. And now that she's in her mid to late 30s and has a child with another man, she's willing to commit to him. And as a dude who's kind of been on that, the receiving end of that, I instantly was just like, ah, F this movie. <laughs> like, I was willing to give it, like, a freaking 7.5, maybe? You know? Until we get to sort of the end, and I'm like, bleh. So, let's give this thing a number score and put it to bed. I'm not going to do a long-form podcast on this. I'll just do an extra minute or two here on the YouTubes. Let's give it a number score. If I have to really honestly give it a number score, despite the crappy ending, I was really sucked into this. I thought it was kind of neat. I'm thinking this movie's a 6.5 out of 10, and I think that's very fair. I mean, is this watchable? Yes. Great Expectations, starring Gwyneth Paltrow, pre-Vagina Candles, is watchable. Yes, it's very, very good. Uh, up until a point. And then it's really not. The old lady's amazing. I think she's fantastic. I really like seeing poor people get rich. I, I just love that. That That's what makes me happy. You know, I've, I've struggled most of my life, and it just sounds like a happy ending to me. But in almost every case where I see the poor person get rich, they're kind of douchey when they finally make it to where they're getting to. And I don't think this is a really happy ending for Finn. But I gotta go back and reread the novel. As far as the adaptation, the film... It's okay. I Again, a 6.5 out of 10. Do you need to watch it? No. But if it's on and you stare at it, I don't think you're going to hate it. Do you need to watch it? No. Is it good? Yeah. Is it great? No. So there's that. 6.5 out of 10. That's it for me. I don't know what I'm doing next week. I'm thinking Rocky too. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you guys listening and watching and signing up on the Patreon and buying my books and whatever else you've done to support this humble creative. But I really am having a great time with this project so far. I'm just going to be putting more and more effort in as we go on. So thank you so much for the motivation, and I will see you guys next Friday. Ha 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 ha!